Sarah has apologized to me for using my identity, but she's a compulsive liar. Sarah's addicted to the game that she's playing and the conversations that she's having with these women on whether she can hook them in or not. I don't think she knows how to quit. Well, Amanda and Alan received several messages from at least 10 women they've never met claiming that Alan is being used as catfish bait online in a relationship con. Now, they hired a private investigator to help find out who was behind this. And it turns out the catfish is not a man at all. It's a 24-year-old woman named Sarah. Now, Amanda believes that Sarah is addicted to catfishing because she's been doing this not for the summer, not for a few months, but for years. Yet her boyfriend, Ken, says he had no idea she was living this secret life. Sarah is beautiful. She has the charisma. It would never occur to me that she would be a catfish. Sarah and I met four years ago. The only thing that was suspicious about Sarah was that she was a very private person. I've only been inside her own place one time. One other thing I found unusual about Sarah was that she always would tell elaborate stories. At one point, Sarah did drive me past Amanda and Alan's house. She told me that the man who owned that house was dating a friend of hers while simultaneously being in an unhappy marriage. She told me that the man had a house in Tulsa and in North Carolina and that he would fly the mistress back and forth. This doesn't make a lot of sense, but then when I found out she'd been catfishing people, all of a sudden, all those things that I had let go, it didn't surprise me anymore. Sarah and I eventually went to meet the PI, Amanda and Alan, to figure out why Sarah was doing it and to figure out how she had acquired the information that she had. Sarah claimed that she was able to get a lot of her information randomly and through assumptions. It's hard to believe that, but I don't know that anybody knows how she got the information. I think now that she's caught, yes, she will stop. But I say that knowing full well that there are a lot of things about her that I've been fooled about in the past. So it's possible that I'm still being fooled. Okay, we've been talking about uh, what's been going on uh, with Amanda and Alan and what they've discovered through the private investigator. When did you discover what was going on? Uh, when the private investigator came to me. Okay, and what was the first thing that he said to you about all of this? Uh, the first thing he said to me about all this is that there was an investigation going on into a potential identity theft. And um, I asked him, because I didn't have any clue, I said, um, my identity's been stolen? And he said, no. Um, and, and he just proceeded to tell me. He asked me, do you, do you know this person? Do you know Sarah? And, and uh, I, I told him, yes, yes, I do. And he said um, that there's been a potential catfishing case going on. It was just a bit of a what in the world's going on. Type situation. And how long have uh, you been in a relationship with Sarah? On and on, on and off again for about four and a half years. Okay. And during that time, did you have any clue that she was doing anything like this with these folks or anyone else? No. You didn't know she was on dating sites? No, not, uh, no, certainly not as, as someone else, no.